What's happened to the old games? Hey, what happened to them? The Spyros, the Crash Bandicoots, the Bombermans, you know, the, the Super Mario. What's happened to it? Pokemon, for Christ's sake. All of these old games. That's what we're going to be discussing today. Old games. Classics. I'm I, Rue 3 9 or Rue's Realm. And, uh, you know, because I've got two different channels now running side by side. I want to say thank you very much to Jehovah for letting me upload here again. And I hope I'm going to be entertaining you for uh, about five minutes today, which would be good. Now, I'd like to say, if you're interested in anything like Spyro, come over and check the link in the description because I've got a Let's Play of both Spyro, Call of Duty, not really anything like that. But I've got GTA as well. There's a whole load of things going on. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Right, old games. I've, I've said me bit now. Old games. Spyro, Crash Bandicoot, you know, Super Mario Brothers, frigging Nintendo, Yoshi, anything like that. All of the old games, the games we don't see very much of these days. And if we see them, they are completely different to what they used to be. What is your favourite game from your childhood ever? What, you know, because I understand we're going to see a load of different answers here. I mean, I was into Spyro, like you're seeing here. Spyro 1, 2, 3, they were the games that I spent the majority of my childhood on. Over and over again, never had high expectations for it, but I just had fun with the game. It wasn't about getting a 50 to 1 KD and, you know, triple no scopes and all this like kids do today. It was all about, let's go get these orbs, let's find these gems, what's going on here, that's fun, that's good, that's fun. Right, then you go on to the game like Crash Bandicoot. I never played that game to the end because I couldn't do it. It was a challenge. It was a challenge of a game, and I think challenge has gone out of the games these days. They're relatively easy to finish. If you go and play Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, do the single player. It's quite easy, isn't it? You know, you've got the choice of difficulty. Whereas back then it was just let's just play the game. You went in there, and if you struggled with something, that was that. You just struggled. There was no sort of make it easier. You just played the game, and it was good. It was fun. And they've changed these days. Games have gone to shit. I, I seriously think they have, especially the old games. Have a look at the newest Spyro. Have a look at it. It's terrible. Reason being it's terrible, it's changed. They tried making it different. They, I mean, heck, for heaven's sake, a bit of a spoiler alert here for Spyro. But Spyro 2's last boss, Ripto, died. And they brought him back in the game, like, uh, a few games afterwards. What was with that? Why did they do it? Insomniac Games sold the franchise off because they knew that they had finished doing what they thought, you know. The game had done its full revolution. You know, and then all of a sudden you've got, they're bringing it back, doing different stuff. It was terrible. I didn't like it. Lost its originality. Same with Pokemon. Lost its originality. Crash Bandicoot. They ran out of ideas. Lost its or originality. If you ask me, Call of Duty. Lost its originality. Battlefield. Lost its originality. Games have gone pear-shaped these days. Now, reminiscing for me is probably the best thing I ever do. I look back and I think, oh, you know, I can still work around all the Spyro levels and what have you. And I still know it and I still smile every time I think about it. And I want to know... You know, I've never really been put in front of an audience which, you know, probably shares the same feelings as I do. You know, what was your best childhood game and memory? That's what it is, because I understand, you know, I played on the PS1, but there were other consoles. You know, I mean, like I said, any, any game, you know, it can be from anything like a console over to PC, all the way back down to, you know, Game Boys. I used to love Game Boys as well, Pokemon and whatever. Have you seen the new Pokemon? Have you seen this new Pokemon? It, it, it's, um, you go to different regions, you know, there's loads of Pokemon. Now, there's only like 100 and something back in the day. Why have they made all these games? You know, what it is, it's jumping on the bandwagon, making money. And I think that's, in essence, in summary, I think that's what's made games change. It's the pursuit of money instead of happiness. That's that, really. But uh, my favourite game, Spyro 2, Gateway to Glimmer. Favourite memory of that game, sitting next to me mum, playing, trying to get through Idle Springs because I was stuck on a little thing. She helped me through it. That was good, fun memories. What was yours? Jehovah, I want to say thank you very much again for letting me upload this. I don't know, you know, if this is going to be anything good because it's obviously different. Like I said, let's play of Spyro on my channel if you want to join the reminiscences and, uh, you know, GTAs there as well. It's going to be a good time. Thank you very much for watching. And um, I think I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to dash. That's what's going to happen with me. All right. End of it.